Elise Shani and today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of makeup and random favorites for April and I actually said in my last video that I felt like my April favorites would be very small because I was going to go on a no buy and that was all kind of garbage because I did end up getting new makeup a lot of it um, the Easter Bunny got me actually but I just wanted to go through and show you guys everything I've been loving this month. Some old favorites, some new stuff to my collection, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little video. So let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start off with some eyeshadows. First off, in my BoxyCharm, I got the Hello Charmers BoxyCharm palette. I didn't know they even had a brand, but here are the shades, and they are just so buttery, so beautiful. The shimmers are so so pigmented and shiny like I'll just swatch a few for you I'm gonna need to grab some makeup remover wipes but oh my gosh I don't know if you can even see that I kind of swatched them into each other look at that glitter like what that is so so pretty let me just get some of makeup remover wipes but yeah I don't know I really like the formula I was really surprised and I like the color scheme I do it's it's very neutral but there's some pops of colors in there and I've just really been enjoying it and yeah here's some swatches of it but I don't know if you can even purchase this or if it's just for BoxyCharm members but very very cool and I've been enjoying this little guy. Next we have um, some old favorites. I have the Norvina and the Subculture palettes from ABH and I don't know I just kind of fell back in love with these two. I totally haven't been getting enough use out of them. Here they are. So so pretty. The shimmers are so nice. The mattes so buttery and smooth and pigmented and I don't know lately I've been doing it's called the passion project it is inspired by the passion series that Julia I don't even know how to say her name but she is a youtuber and she's been doing like a palette series where she uses each of her palettes every single day like each one she uses once and makes a look out of it so I've been doing that with my collection and I totally loved using these two and it just kind of inspired me to reach into them more and so that's been a really fun project I've been doing as well and then I'm gonna end that project when I use all of my eyeshadow palettes um, I'm going to do a declutter video and talk about my experience there so stay tuned for that video it'll take some time but um, soon hopefully I'll get through my collection but these are just some great favorites I've kind of rediscovered <laughs> this month um, here I have my makeup remover wipe on my lap okay um, other eyeshadows, the e.l.f. Earth and Ocean. I got this for Easter and I absolutely love the color scheme and what the, I mean this is a favorite, but really the e.l.f. shimmers are my favorites. Like these are just so, so beautiful. Okay, I don't know if I picked the best ones to swatch. But like look at that for the price of elf products these shimmers are to die for the mattes are not the best i'm gonna be honest i do not really like the mattes but like look at that that's gorgeous and i believe this palette's about 15 ish dollars so like really you can't go wrong with <laughs> these many shades and such good shimmers so this is definitely a favorite but mostly the elf shimmers is what i'm talking about and these also are the elf bite size eyeshadows this one is in very bad i love the shimmers and the mattes aren't too bad in these but sometimes it's just a hit or miss i feel like and here's cream and sugar and these shimmers are just also beautiful i'll take one from each to show you guys what i'm talking about but i absolutely love these shades oops <laughs> like whoa <laughs> they're just so so pretty and I'm absolutely 
really impressed so I had to include elf shimmer eyeshadows in this little video and the bite size eyeshadows are only three dollars each so you cannot you cannot go wrong with these little baby palettes <laughs> so love those all right next let's see what are we gonna do I guess I'll go into skincare I have this little Ahava <laughs> mud mask I got from Ipsy a long time ago and I've been starting to use it this month really love it it's just very nice and I almost feel like it's clarifying for my skin and I it leaves it really smooth and just I don't know I've really been enjoying this mud mask also this I got um, when I was near my boyfriend it's in, I think in Beacon New York the Sally Ander nourish under eye treatment and it just it smells really nice and it's just like a stick formula and you just kind of roll it on your eyes and it's really nice at night for a little eye treatment and I've been using this a lot and loving it I've got it over the summer but I've been recently really using it um some more elf products I have the elf daily hydration moisturizer this is very lightweight I love the smell of it and I use this mostly every morning now I tried this got this for Easter and I absolutely love it also the elf poreless putty primer this is such a great dupe for the silk canvas from Tasha I've got a little dip in there it's so nice and I do have pore issues around my nose so this is really um, come in handy and I got this for Easter as well I also have been trying the elf hydrating face primer I don't know if this is an absolute favorite but it is also really nice um, oh skincare another skincare I have from Ipsy the blackhead bubble pore pack and this is so good it's like really does bubble on your face and it really gets into those pore areas I don't always use it on my whole face sometimes I just use it in my like t-zone area where I need the help extra help especially after a week of wearing makeup I like to do this on like Sunday night cleanse with it and it kind of bubbles and it's just really nice to clear out my pores and another ipsy find the go-to face hero powerful and protective face oil I've been using this at night and it is really nice and I feel like it really I don't know it kind of brings dewiness to my skin I mean obviously it's an oil but it's just really nice and I don't know exactly I don't know it just it seems very hydrating and nice for my skin like I feel like my skin has been better maybe because of this product with in conjunction with other products but I thought I'd mention I do really like that other ipsy finds we have the estate um, do me lit highlighter I think it's in the shade lit and this is gorgeous I am wearing it today as my highlight and it is really similar to Ofra highlights it's just very blinding very beautiful love this little guy from ipsy the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in Light. I've been loving this. I'm not wearing this today, but I do absolutely love it. Under my eyes, it's very like, I don't know, it's not very matte. It is illuminating and it's really, I don't know, it fits my shade match really well and it's really beautiful on the skin and I've just really been enjoying this little guy from Ipsy. And then one more Ipsy find, the Wander Beauty Trip to Costa Rica bronzer this is amazing i am wearing this one today and i just love 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 this little bronzer it is so smooth and it almost gives you like a sun tan or sun okay. paint. sorry about that i would believe i was talking about the wander beauty beautiful bronzer and my camera did cut out but love this bronzer definitely a favorite uh some other favorites i have the tarte little blush duo and i haven't been reaching for this because my highlight broke but this blush I've been reaching for a lot and it is gorgeous it is like this beautiful baby pink and I got this little blush and glow highlight and blush duo in pink champagne I got this from my cousin Claire a few Christmases back and I've just recently rediscovered it I have the NYX jumbo eye pencil in black bean I've been using this as my waterline absolutely love it it's very nice and black and I don't know I've just been enjoying this from boxycharm I have the grande drama 
um, intense thickening mascara. I said I liked it, but I wasn't giving it a huge, amazing review, but I've been liking it more over time, and I thought I'd mention it. It's just very nice and volumizing and lengthening and nothing crazy, but I do enjoy it. So I had to give it a favorite. And then BoxyCharm, these little lavish brush set came in April's box, and I've been loving these. The fine line one and the eyebrow one I don't use that often but they're nice but these three I've been using like crazy and they're just so fun and colorful the ones I've been using are the eye shading um, the pencil one and then the tapered blending and these are just really nice I think the colors are just so fun and I just love getting makeup brushes in subscription services so love these ones from BoxyCharm and I think that, oh no, I do have the Adesse All Day Lip Cream in Thyme Street. This is also an Ipsy find. I'm wearing it today, and I've just been reaching for this a ton. It's your everyday, like, pinky nude. I'll swatch it for you. It's just, like, your everyday pinky nude, but I've been loving it, and it's just a very comfortable formula. And I have this hair care products not your mother's leave-in conditioner it is the repair and protect i love this i've been using this after i shower and it's really nice on the hair helps me brush out my hair that's basically the main thing so love that um so now that's all beauty favorites but i'm going to move on to a clothing favorite this is a forever 21 shirt my best friend nikki gave me a while back it is in medium but basically this during this month i've been loving flowy like cute flowery t-shirts or shirts that are cute but nothing uncomfy so that's definitely a favorite and i have a few other little random favorites i got a wax warmer recently because my mom i'm back with my parents and my mom doesn't really like candles so i got this pink cherry blossom wax cubes and i've been using it with my wax warmer and that's just really nice and relaxing. I've also been loving Criminal Minds and Schitt's Creek on Netflix. If you're home, I know you're home and you're probably bored during this whole thing, why not watch some new shows? Love those two. Uh, yoga is another thing I've been absolutely loving this month and just lately I do it most days and I just feel like it really relaxes and calms me and I'm just loving it. And then I have, I believe, two more favorites. Um, my boyfriend got me these last two things first off this is an antique mug it is the lennox yep lennox coffee mugs and it's just pink and it has a little cafe on it and i actually saw this in an antique store in virginia but you had to buy the whole set and i didn't want to so he actually found this on ebay for me for our anniversary so love love this mug and i put my milk and Sephora brushes in here if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with it I think I'm gonna keep my makeup my milk and milk makeup and Sephora collection brushes in here so that's definitely a favorite and then lastly he got me this little pop figure um, Cinderella's carriage little figures I absolutely love it. it comes with the two horses and the little carriage and it looks so 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 cute on my desk over here and so yeah I just love Cinderella it's my favorite musical it's one of my favorite movies and he thought why not get this little thing I told him I wanted a pop figure and <laughs> this came and I'm so excited it is um I think he got it on Amazon for like 30 20 bucks or something 20 30 bucks and it's just so cute and I'm so excited to display it in my room. So yeah, that is some random favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy little video um, of all my April 2020 favorites. So I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.